What's up guys, Alex over here. I'm actually in some trail. Uh, it's around my house anyway. I'm just a little bit off because it's been raining. So I'm taking a, just a gravel path. And I took the bike that I built and painted. So this is gonna be a bike check. If you wanna see what this is about, before we do, before I tell you, please subscribe. If you're new here, also subscribe, turn the notification bell on. I'm gonna link all these products in the description below. That way, if you're interested in some of this, you can check them out. And other than that, let's get right into it. So, as you can see, this is a is something else this is my mongoose otter is uh as a 29er no longer a 27 and a half and with the custom paint job and some of the parts that i have over here are actually uh grandfather in from different projects so let's start over here with the uh handlebars this is a 35 millimeter clamp 780 uh width and it has the stem, 45 millimeter stem that came from my um, CISQ T8, my Polygon CISQ T8. And this is also the handlebar from the CISQ T8. I had this for a little while on the, on the blue Axum, but I just got a new one for the Axum. So this is what I have over here. Also, running over here on the cockpit, I have my Rock Bros bike grips love these things under $13 all the time they're lock on and expanded uh, end cap over here so it's always gonna work and they have different colors I picked the orange ones for this one because as you can tell it's not the same orange but goes with the team uh, let's continue over here I have a Zito headset with the fun end cap and um, stem cap why not and then from here I'm running my Cuspo uh, GPS meter kind of thing so yeah see and then over here we can see that I have the Morocco M4 uh, hydraulic brakes front and rear the Ford piston and on the front I have a 180 rotor just a generic I don't think it's a name brand or anything like that and since I'm here I have the XM 490 hubs on the original Axum wheels wrap with the Continental X King 2.2 tires and I'm running tubes because I just have not had any luck with tubeless so this works whatever now in order to do this one this is a 100 millimeter uh, axle 100 by 15 I had to run the spacers for both the brake and at the end of the uh, um, axle to fit this rock shock beauty silver uh, and this one is 120 millimeters of travel it's a 29er fork and it has the rebound and the uh, lockout over here I had this one this is a different one but I had the same one on my Axum however the one on the Axum had 130 millimeters of travel and then this right here CRX Pro this is kind of like I already did a review for this one. This is the group set 11 speed. It looks a lot like the box uh, two, box two 11 speed. It looks a lot like it. I had it on the black axum, if y'all can remember that. And I'm running a 11 to 50 tooth cassette at the rear. The one that I had had for a while. And then coming over here, this Am Rider pedals brand new and look at this by the way the paint i don't know how that thing got scratched off but oh well it's already loosened up really well 
Now these crank arms, these are actually 175 millimeters and they are the original, they're MPX, I think they're Pro Wheel, something like that. They're the stock ones from the uh, Polygon CSQ T8 that I had. I had replaced the ones on the T8 for 170. But I figure since I'm going a little bit taller, the bottom bracket height is gonna be lifted up a little bit because of the uh, 29ers. And these bikes is actually a little bit smaller for me. It'll compensate, so it'll put me in a better position. So I'm reusing this uh, GXP crank arm. However, that um, chain ring is a 32 tooth, and uh, that's a brand new one. I don't remember. I don't know what brand that is. Ibuzi, something like that. Avuzi, something like that. Whatever it is. And then uh, what else? What else do I have? For now, I have one of the saddles from the Polygons. I don't know if it's the one from the T8 or the uh, Mombromo, but they're the same. And uh, I had actually ordered a seat post, not a dropper yet, but they sent me the wrong one. So I'm reusing this one for now until I order the other one. And other than that, that's that's all i have for this one right now i will eventually be changing the saddle for one more comfortable although it's not neat because i'm not gonna be using this bike too much because it's a little bit smaller for me but it's looking great i think the paint job turned out amazing uh i did put in the uh the tape over here on the bottom just to protect the down tube hopefully I might need to trim it a little bit because it's a little bit wider than the actual thing. I don't want to move this too much because it's being held by the by a twig right there. But I love the fade that I did to it, the the spark, the the splashes and all that. This thing looks for my taste amazing. Oh and by the way, this uh polar bottle found it on Amazon is a 24 ounce. It's insulated so it keeps the drink a little bit colder than usual and that saddle bag I just put on all my bikes I mean I just change I just put a clip on all my bikes and then change the saddle bag on all my bikes keep my tools in there my inhaler whatever whatever I need so this bike actually I'm liking it I'm liking it so I was hesitant whether to paint it or not but if the paint holds up great and if it doesn't at least now I know the technique and I can actually order the proper paint and uh, I can use it for my for some of my other bikes if I need to well that's it for this one guys that was the bike check like I said a lot of the parts I already had and then uh, that's how I was able to build this frame up and that's it. I guess uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't or you're new here, subscribe if you haven't done so. Other than that, that's gonna be wrap, that's gonna wrap it up for today. If you wanna check the affiliate links in the description below, you can check, uh, help the channel that way using those. And that's it for today, guys. And I'll see you on the trails. Let's ride. Goodbye.